Consumers are ready to spend big on Valentine's Day this year to the tune of more than $25 billion, according to the National Retail Federation. If you haven't bought a gift yet for that special someone, shopping expert Trey Bodge from TrueTrey.com has some ideas about what's trending this year. Experiences have become very, very popular, especially with millennials and Gen Zers. Uh, I think that folks don't have a lot of room for a lot of stuff. Personalization continues to be very popular and it also indicates that you've given some thought to your gift if you have something custom made for that person. Bodge says that things that are trending on social can also be a good idea. Maybe you can score your partner one of the Stanley Cups from Target or something like that would be a fun gift for Valentine's Day. If you're on a budget, Bodge says photo gifts can be personal and not that expensive. You could go to your favorite drugstore chain like a Walgreens or CVS and have, for example, a photo book made or a, a photo print made that same day uh, that could cost you maybe $20, $25. So that's a very affordable option. And you don't have to spend a lot on traditional gifts like flowers or candy. Candy is kind of the number one gift that people plan to give. And what's great about candy, unless you're buying something super high end, is that it's affordable. In the end, says Bodge, you don't need to go overboard with spending. It really is the thought that counts. If you're buying for a significant other or a loved one, a small gesture, a small token is absolutely sufficient. You do not have to bring debt over month to month just to show someone that you love them. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.